G'day everybody and welcome to my update for this week. I want to start off by reminding you all about uh, the, the dry, dryness that still exists across much of Victoria. I know I've been talking about that a lot in the last couple of weeks, but uh, it is unseasonally dry. While the fire danger period in many parts of the state has lifted or about to be lifted, there are still parts of the state that are extending well into May. So I just ask you to keep doing the great work you do, engaging with your communities, ensuring that they understand what their responsibilities are in terms of using fire outdoors, whether they can or can't have a fire, and how they have that fire safely should they need to have one. Importantly, um, ask them to register the fire so we can avoid unnecessary call-outs. This Saturday's St Florian's Day, International Firefighters Day. It's uh, a worldwide day of recognition for the fantastic work that you all do as firefighters in, in protecting the community, particularly here in Victoria, protecting Victorians. So thank you for that. If you've got events on on the day, I wish you all the very best for those. Enjoy it and enjoy each other's company. On Sunday, of course, we have our annual CFA Firefighters Memorial Day at Hillsville, and I'll see many of you there, where we'll pause and reflect together on those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. So it will be a moving day, but also a great opportunity to remember, together and recognise those firefighters that have lost their lives. Uh, Tuesday of this week, I travelled to Canberra for the, for the uh, National Firefighters Memorial Service uh, on the banks of Lake Burley Griffin. That was a, a great opportunity as well. I was there alongside all other commissioners and chiefs from across Australasia and families of those people whose names were being added to the wall. And while that was a very sad time for those families, um, it's also a very moving and appropriate way to recognise the sacrifice that their family members had made. So um, very well done. Um, the memorial is there in Canberra. If you ever get the opportunity to go and have a look at it and reflect, I'd encourage you to do so. It's a great monument um, to those firefighters from across Australasia that have um, made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty as well. Also this weekend, we've got country round of AFL. So that's on Sunday at the MCG in the Geelong versus Essendon match. There'll be a range of activities on there that uh, if you get the opportunity to go along to and take part in, that'll be great. They've got uh, animal nursery and a free country festival outside the MCG prior to the game. And during or at the commencement of the game, there'll be 80 CFA members on the MCG with the Guard of Honour and unfurling the Australian flag. So those members that have been selected to take part in that, congratulations. Uh, I know you'll enjoy the experience and you'll represent CFA very well. So thanks everybody and stay safe.